Hi guys, I'm joined by Ben Sherratt for Coffee with Color presented by Tim Hortons. We have our black coffee. It's the only way to drink coffee is black, right? Keep it lean. Diesel. We call it diesel. Diesel in the dressing room. Yeah. All right, in the dressing room. You go by Ben. What do the guys call you? Ben, Benny. Here I've gotten Cherry, which I've only gotten one other time in junior. That's true. Sure, I know you look at my name, Cherry. I don't know. It's Ch yeah. Sure. Cherry. Cherry. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about your hockey career. So yeah. you started, you got drafted by the Atlanta Thrashers, yeah. who are not <laughs> even in existence anymore. Not for a while. What has that process been like? I mean, it's it's been a, a long sort of journey from beginning to where I am now. Um, obviously drafted to Atlanta and at the time you're just like a kid like I had no idea like training and skating in the summer like I used to not skate in the summer really at all when I was got drafted I pretty Was much condition I just yeah I'd like lift weights and run near my house and like that was it and I'd show up to the, like development camp at the time in the summer having not even put my equipment on <laughs> and which is so different from now so that was then and then as I've gone on you kind of learn and figure things out and kind of take the steps you need to do to, to get to the NHL. And um, I was able to figure that stuff out. How would you describe your style of play? I feel like it's an abrasive style as a defenseman. Yeah, that's kind of what what, what kind of like helped me keep taking the steps from junior to pro to NHL was um, I was a little bit different than the guys I was playing with because I wasn't afraid to be a little more physical and mix it up and get in front of shots and, and kind of do the things that other guys weren't really crazy about doing so um that's kind of how i carved the little niche out for myself and once i got to the nhl and was able to um just kind of improve my game and work on everything else and um so yeah that's like establish your role right yeah, yeah like once i got into the league and was playing every game then i could kind of focus on getting getting better at all the other stuff playing with the puck and making plays and you kind of got to earn the trust to get out there first. So you scored your first goal with the Detroit Red Wings. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. That's so exciting. Yeah, thanks. What'd you say after you scored it? I said I picked a corner and put it right where I wanted it. That's what you <laughs> said what after. Yeah. <laughs> got it. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah I could tell. Hamilton. Yeah. Only the hopping to skip away. Three hours, no? Yeah. So how cool is it to be here in Detroit playing for the Red Wings? It's unreal. Um, I came down here when like growing up for a couple different games, mm -hmm. came to the Joe um super close i have a ton of family in windsor my mom's side of the family is from windsor so we were down there all the time um it's really nice um you know especially with a young family having in-laws and mom and dad that can come down and help it's uh it's great how tough is it moving around now that you have a little it's tough yeah, yeah no that's probably the hardest part um moving and especially as kids get older like yeah, schools right. and friends and um that's the hard part of being a hockey player is the moving around. I've been fortunate I haven't had to do a ton of it, but um, the moving around for some guys can be very tough. You have a beautiful little girl. Can you mm -hmm. tell us about Emerson? Yeah, Emerson, she's three and uh, she started dancing and gymnastics. So she's she's a lot of fun. She's, she's the biggest part of my life right now. How nice is it to leave the rink and go home and just have the excitement of a toddler come running at you? With the, you know, playing hockey, you're under the pressure to perform and um that's constant throughout the season so going home every day and you have your daughter there to kind of take your mind off things and um nothing else really matters when you're when you go home and you have have kids all right so tell me a little bit about your wife she's an interior designer now yep she is she started that uh probably two years ago now been that's been great for her to to find something that she likes to do and um something that as you know we go on in life after my career she'll uh, she'll have a job and something that she likes to do too all right you also have another daughter a fur, a fur daughter if you will i do you know, yeah bailey, bailey. she's seven <laughs> seven did your research yeah. she's a golden retriever. golden retriever we got her after my rookie year mm -hmm when we first got her and i was like young starting in the league and like we both like jump out of bed in the morning feed her i go work out and we're just like jumping around the house and now like seven years later and i'm like i'm 31 she's seven so like we both get up and we're both kind of like just trying to like get up right and she's like um kind of like limping as she gets up in the morning oh, and so i relate bailey yes. now she has a three-year-old climbing all over her yeah at first they weren't friends at all like bailey couldn't stand having emerson on her 
And then now, like, now Bailey goes to Emerson to get, like, her ears. To, uh, it's, uh, it's great. It's fun to watch. I want to know, like, what kind of music? Are you a big music guy? Big music you guy. Split it up. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of depends time of day, what okay. I'm doing. So first thing in the morning, say driving to the rink, I'd put on maybe some Fleetwood Mac, Ooh. maybe some Chris Stapleton, okay. probably something a little slower, a little like easier to kind yeah. of get into if I'm not listening to like a podcast or something. Later in the day, maybe just like today's hits kind of mm -hmm. thing. I'm a big like 80s, 80s rock guy. Same. Nice. Big hair band fan. Yeah, huge hair band guy. Um, say working out, probably gonna be like 90s hip hop or 80s, okay. 80s rock. Give me like top five bands or artists. Like I'd listen to like Def Leppard, Drake, okay. Tupac, uh, Motley Crue, Chris Stapleton. You know who I missed that I probably listened to it every day is tragically hip i don't know it's a oh. canadian band okay and they're they're the biggest canadian band probably of all time what's your go-to karaoke song? probably like queen killer queen probably okay you have that in your back pocket yeah i know yeah. almost all the words i had like a big queen phase after bohemian rhapsody came out oh I don't know. it was unreal yeah it was and great. so i got really into them and all their songs are you a big coffee drinker <laughs> big coffee drink yeah me too like i can't not have coffee same what about like if you're not getting black what are you getting uh i get a like a caramel macchiato if i'm feeling was not expecting that feeling dangerous you know <laughs> not expecting i'm off that. the diet a little bit i'll get the caramel <laughs> macchiato sugar-free caramel extra pump of caramel <laughs> yeah right that's like the first week after the season like summertime hot day pick up an ice cap with uh, some whipped cream on top no one can tell you anything that's, that's ben Sherat's that's, day that's living right there <laughs> But it's been really nice to get to know you over a cup of coffee. Thanks so much for joining me for Coffee with Carly presented by Tim Hortons. Thanks, Carly.